Hey you guys, it's Brittany and welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome to my channel. I am so excited to be filming this video because one, it's one of my all time favorite videos to film and to watch, but also two, that means I am done with Christmas. Almost because I still need to get some things for my husband's stocking, but for the kids. I am done. We are done and it feels so good. As I'm filming this, it is Saturday, December 16th at 10:41 at night. I'm in my living room. My bedroom is literally like this wall here and Emilio is asleep. So I'm going to try to somewhat be quiet. Also, Alondra is asleep. I don't want my kids to wake up. Um, but I really wanted to film and also like, I mean, come on, this is a cute background. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to get out of bed and film this video. I've actually been wanting to film this video for, I feel like weeks now, but I kept going back and forth. Like, do I want to add more? Do I want to get more as far as like stockings and just presents go? And I decided yesterday I am, I'm done. I'm done, done. I picked up Emilio's last gifts today actually and Alondra's last gifts today like I was last minute gifts and I was like yeah I'm officially done because I always keep buying more and I keep saying I'm done but knowing me I will still buy more but I'm happy to say stockings are officially done I stuffed the stockings so here they are as you can see ours are right behind us but these are the stockings from Target. They have them every single year. I will link them in the description box. This is Emilio's. If you are new to my channel, I'm so sorry. I didn't even like really give you guys information, but my name is Brittany and my husband and I, we have two kiddos. Our daughter is eight years old. She will be nine in January. And then Emilio is 15 months and he will actually be 16 months on Christmas day. So I got a baby boy for you. And then I got she considered a tween, I don't even know. Like I said, she's eight, about to be nine, but she's like going on 18. And y'all, I just, I don't even know. Like the stuff that she like uses and gets, like she has better skincare and better makeup than like I do. And it's just, it blows my mind. It's wild to me. I mean, I don't even have any makeup on because I literally just like rolled out of bed and was like, no, you're gonna film this video. So ignore. That's why you have the pretty background. Anyways, I'm rambling. Let's jump into it. We will do Emilio first because, well, he's got the least amount of stuff and that's just the first stocking that was on top. So for Emilio, I did get a few things for his stocking. I kept going back and forth and having this mom guilt dilemma where Alondra has so much more than him. I feel like I need to, do you know, make it even. And everyone, literally everyone keeps telling me like, he's just a year old. like take that to your advantage. He's not going to remember. He's not going to know and save your money while you still can. So I decided to get some things that I think he will want to play with and to help with like fine motor skills, but also things that he needs. So let me just show you because I feel like I'm rambling. So the first thing, and I'm actually going to put this at the bottom of his stocking, like the little boot area. I've already tested everything out before I filmed this video to make sure everything does fit. One thing I'm actually omitting from his stocking and that's just gonna get wrapped and put under the tree, but these are perfect for like right here. And these are, honestly, I don't even know the brand. I got it off of Amazon. I will try to link everything in the description box for you guys. I know sometimes I forget to do that. So if I do, yell at me and I will do it. But these are, Zatano booties, I guess that's the brand, Zatano, but they had a ton of great reviews and they are, they, these look huge. Like these look like huge, big old long feet, but Edom, or Edom, <laughs> Emilio has like long feet, but he's also got super chubby feet. So we have had the hardest time finding shoes to fit his chubby feet. Like even Crocs, like do not fit his feet. They're that chubby and he hates hates socks he takes them off as soon as we put them on him he just hates socks with a passion and these booties got my attention on amazon because number one they're grippy at the bottom so when he decides to walk because he's not walking yet he will have the grips but also they cannot take these booties off i decided to get 24 months and i'm so glad that i did because like his foot is like right here so he'll have a like there are a little bit big but not that much big um 
and it has like two button snaps here so you can adjust as well with the ankle and basically the perfect thing with this is that they cannot remove these i've already put it on one foot and he could not get it off and he was pissed he was so bad um so they work they have tons and tons of colors um i got this on sale on amazon i think it was like 15 or 16 bucks on sale um, and I'm excited, very, very excited. It is winter, obviously, and I hate going into the stores or going out and he's got no socks on his feet. He's like all bundled up and then he's, his feet are just bare and out there. And I try to cover it with a blanket and stuff, but he, he hates blankets. He does not like things on his feet. And I feel like people just stare at me like, cover your baby's feet. And I'm just like, I know, but he takes them off. So I'm hoping these are the answer. When I tested them, they seem to be good, but obviously the true test will be when we are out in the streets but these are the first item that i got him the next thing that i got him i he needs these <laughs> we need these this is also off of amazon it is we sprout is the brand i try to find the majority of things phthalate free um so i love this brand if you are like me and try to do like non-toxic phthalate free stuff check out we sprout and again i will link them in the description box for you guys but we really need snack holders we used to have the munchkin brand snack holders and let me show you guys this is basically what it is um but where you can put the baby can put their hand in there to grab their snacks out but the snacks will not fall out um we need that so badly but it does have a cap or a lid and i really like that as well um so yeah i really really wanted to get this for him because he just needs this he loves like with the i don't know are they called puffs oh here's another gift right here um yeah puffs he loves to like put his hand inside so my husband was like we really need to get him those snack containers and i was like i know i know so I finally ordered them and this actually comes in a two pack so you get a gray and like a really pretty green color so i'm excited to finally have these because we need them so desperately so i'm just gonna like shove them in there probably have one sticking out of the top oh yeah so this is fda approved silicone just in case anybody's curious um bpa pvc and phthalate free travel lid spill resistant and easy grip handles and these are super like squishy and soft and he also loves to put everything in his mouth and chew on everything everything is a chew toy so i feel like this will just be perfect for him as well so i'm excited that we have two of these and they will go in his stocking and then i already showed this briefly but i've never tried wow this feels like not full at all and these were like almost five dollars this is the brand of serenity kids um i have not tried this brand i typically buy as i drop it i think it's called like happy teeth or happy baby what is the i don't I, I, I can't think of what the brand is, but I typically buy that brand um, for like the puffs and like most of the baby snacks, but I really wanted Christmas packaging for the baby snacks. This was the only brand and I could only find it at Target. It's wild to me. Like Peeps, Nerds, like they all make Christmas packaging. So I don't understand why all these other baby food companies are not making Christmas packaging. Like y'all are missing out because yes, I could just buy the plain old, why do I keep dropping this? Oh my God, I'm gonna set it down. I mean, I could just buy the plain old, you know, design of the bottle, but I have to be extra and I want the Christmas design. So they are really like missing out on this marketing here to like give us like Christmas design, baby snack food. I don't, is it just me? I mean, comment down below and let me know. Do you want the Christmas designs? Because I do. And I feel like we all buy like the Christmas design candies. So like, why not the baby snacks? I don't know. I'm going off on a tangent here. But anyways, this is the carrot and beet flavor. Um, so I hope he likes these ones because like I said, I've never bought this brand. But I just got it because of the packaging. The next two items, he, you can... See, Emilio already got a hold of it in the closet and wrinkled this bad boy up. But this is from Dollar Tree, so $1.25. And then I got him some crayons, which I was really excited about. Um, I just feel like, you know, it's just good for him to like get some crayons and start learning to color. 
also we went to a birthday party and he was like using the markers and he was like having fun doing that so i was excited to see that because i had already bought these i actually got these at walmart i was shocked i was going to get honey crayons i don't know some kind of crayons off of amazon and they were about 15 to 20 dollars this was four dollars and four or five dollars i actually have all the prices written down in my app on my phone i can tell you guys um, but these are from the brand sproutlings they are not toxic um, and there's eight colors and what i love about them you can't tell but it has like a triangular shape so they will not roll and they will stay on there and these are made out of soy and beeswax and they're non-toxic i don't know if they say that they are made in new zealand and they have really good reviews and i just love that they're great for little hands so like the first you know perfect for like first crayons you know for like learning fine motor skills and all of that so he has his little crayons and then he can just scribble on this little book i really wanted to find like a baby shark coloring book but i have not been able to find like a baby sh like honestly finding coloring books was really difficult i mean first of all i know it's just a dollar 25 now but like i don't know that extra 25 cents on some things it does hurt a little bit <laughs> um but yeah i don't know i could not find a baby shark coloring book anywhere and i feel like i don't know i just couldn't find anything that i feel like he would like i found all the princess coloring books but just like things like for him, I, it was hard to find. So I figured Santa Snow Day was good enough. Um, and that is everything for his Christmas stocking. It all fits really nicely. And just to tell you guys how much I spent total, in case you guys are interested, um, total, I spent $16.25, which you guys are probably like, how? Especially with like these, but a lot of things like I used points to get gift cards, like Fetch is a really awesome app. And um, yeah, so I utilized a lot of gift cards and I like racked up and saved points. Also, Target was having really great like spend so much get a gift card or spend so much save this much amount of money so i took full advantage of like all of that the only other thing that i need for both of the kids stockings is lottery tickets i know emilio is not gonna be able to scratch off lottery tickets but it's just a tradition that my mom has started ever since i was a child and we always got lottery tickets like the scratchers so i do need to buy those and just stop at a gas station and buy some and then put them in the stockings but that is everything for Emilio and I'm excited because it's, I feel like it's good stuff that we need and stuff that we will use. So moving on to a laundry stocking, I kind of have it laid out in front of me like categories, I guess. So I will start with the food. I didn't realize I bought her so many uh, candies, but whatever. So um, the first thing I got her are these trolley sour bursting crawlers. She is obsessed with trolleys and sour candies. I didn't realize they were like bursting with like things inside. So I hope she likes that. But you know, it's the Christmas packaging. So I got it. Um, I also got her the Christmas stocking peeps. These were a dollar. These were a dollar. I don't know if you guys care to know that, but these were actually at Walmart and this was at Target. And then I got the Nerd uh, Gummy Clusters. I was trying to find the Nerd's Rope because she loves Nerd Ropes, but I could not find them at Walmart or at Target. So I don't know, but she loves Gummy Clusters, so this is fine. Um, this was $1.25 at Walmart, and then I got her some Sour Patch Kids, and this is the Cole one. This is her absolute favorite. I honestly, I need to buy some more. I think Target I saw was having 20% off holiday candy. So I think I just need to buy it and like stockpile it because it's the black raspberry flavor. It is her all time favorite. She loves this flavor and this is the only flavor that's in this one. And I like that it's coal because I always like to put like a funny little coal item in the stocking. I wish I had like a funny little coal item to put inside of Emilio's stocking, but I'm not gonna put like this. So I don't know what I would put. If you have any ideas of a funny baby item that could be like coal, let me know because I think it's funny. Um, but anyways, yeah, she's absolutely obsessed with this Coles black raspberry or yeah, black raspberry. So that's always a staple. It's always a must for her. But that is all of like the candy. And then I guess moving on to like 
bath, beauty, wellness type things. Um, I did get her, this is from Target. It was 50% off. Normally it's $10, but like I said, I got it 50% off, so five bucks. You get two bath bombs. I got this for her last year in her stocking. This is the Snow Princess and then the Dancing Princess. Um, and this is from the, is it, I think it's, De, oh yeah, Da Bomb, the bath fizzers. Really like them, they are phthalate free as well, non-toxic, a really good like bath bomb brand. Um, so I really, really, really love this brand. So I wanted to get this for her because she doesn't really take baths so much. She takes them like here and there, but when she does take them, she loves to use a bath bomb and she's only got, I think one or two left. So I wanted to make sure I got her some more. Plus, like I said, it was 50% off. And also if I spent so much money on like beauty items, I got a $10 gift card. So I was like, yes, add to cart. So I got that. And then this is the same part of the same like thing, like spend, I think it was spend $30, get a $10 gift card. But she always needs like ligas, like I, or I'm sorry, hair ties. I was saying liga, Spanish, whatever. She always needs hair ties. And she like will go to her friend's house. I'll have her hair done. She'll come home, her hair is down. And I'm like, where are all of your ligas? And she's like, oh, I must've left them. Well, her friends will come over, they'll do each other's hair. And then all her ligas, like it's just always, her ligas are always missing. And she has thick, thick hair. Um, so I wanted to try this crunchy brand and says no damage. It says it's for thick hair and it's 24. So I grab this. We'll see how they do because sometimes they say for thick hair and it will literally slide out of her hair. So I hope these work and 24, I hope will at least last us a few months. So we'll see. And that was also part of the um, deal. And so was this loofah. I'm going to be honest. I don't know how long we've had our loofahs don't judge me or you can it's fine um so i was like you know what we're all getting new loofahs you're getting a loofah you're getting a loofah and you're getting a loofah i'm just oprah with the loofahs um so this is from eco tools it was like i don't know three bucks and i got her the pink one because pink is her favorite color and then the last thing is which i don't know if i'm going to change out this headband for another one because she saw like a black and white checkered print headband and she was like oh my god i love that one or maybe I'll just buy it. It's five bucks. Um, so this is from Time and True. This is from Walmart. It is just like a pink knotted like fabric like with a knot here, headband. All of a sudden, she's really into headbands. Um, she used to have like the cat ear headbands and like, I don't know, the unicorn one. She's not into that anymore. Um, and she went, went to Claire's, used up her gift card maybe like a month ago and she bought a headband and she's really into headbands and she told me, mommy, I really want some more. So she has a lot of pink, pink is her favorite color, so I feel like this will match a lot of her clothes. But when she saw the black and white checker print one, I was kind of like, maybe I should exchange or just get that one too. I might just get that one too, because like I said, pink, I feel like will just match everything that she has. Um, but anyways, that's a long winded story for a headband, but there you go. This item, I don't understand why it is $10. I feel like because it's $10, I should wrap it because it's expensive like it's, it's expensive for what it is it's a hand sanitizer show of hands anyone else have a daughter who is obsessed with this hand sanitizer i don't even know this brand touchland here you go in case you want to see it it is touchland i believe um but yeah like i i don't know this is the wild watermelon scent it's a hydrating hand sanitizer it's only one ounce and it's ten dollars I don't know. It's cruelty free, vegan, plain friendly, hydrating, fast absorbing, and you get 500 sprays, it says. She has been asking for this. And I, you can buy, I, I got this at Ulta. Ulta was having it on sale for $8, and then I also had a $5 off coupon if you spent $15. So I got a really good like deal on this. I almost got myself one just to like see what the hype is but I didn't because I buy my kid like all the expensive bougie things and I don't get myself shit. So anyways, got her that. I think she's gonna be very, very excited about it. At least I hope. Um, and then I also got her this. I got it on Amazon Black Friday, I think. It was $5.99. So I got it almost half off because it's normally $9.99. It is the Taco Cat Goat Cheese Pizza game. I thought it was bigger than this. I thought it was a board game. No. I honestly, I didn't know anything about the game. 
um, until I got it in the mail and I was like, wait, why is it so tiny? Um, and then I researched it. But this game, I feel like I've been seeing it pop up like everywhere. I feel like so many people have been talking about it and how they love the game. Um, and so I was looking it up to see like what exactly it is. Cause like I said, I thought it was a board game. Um, and it's almost like Slapjack, but with a twist. And she loves Slapjack. Like, homegirl's competitive with her Slapjack. So I think she's really gonna love this. And since it's so tiny, I decided to put it in her stocking. But yeah, I mean, six bucks, so I was excited. And then the last thing I got in her stocking, she's not gonna appreciate or care about, but I'm gonna appreciate it. Her shoes stink, especially her boots. Like, you know the winter boots and they don't wear any socks in them? They, they smell so bad. Um, and Poopery makes shoe -pourri. I did not know they made like spray for sneakers and tennis shoes. So I got her one. I got this at Walmart, it was five bucks. Um, and yeah, this is the Centrus Mint kind. So it just odor eliminator for your shoe and your foot. So I'm hoping this does the trick. And that is everything for Alondra's stocking. I don't know, but I feel like, should I just show you guys these two items that I want to put in? I'll show them here and then I'm going to try again to see if I can get them to go into the stocking. And if I can't, I will wrap them and then you will see them again in my what I got my kids for Christmas video. And I'll probably mention it as well. But just in case I can make it fit, because I really want it to go in. I don't know why, but I do. But um, anyways, I got Alondra this 96 facts about Taylor Swift. She loves Taylor Swift. She's a Swifty. We saw the Eras Tour movie, not the actual concert, but the movie, and it was it was a blast. So much fun. And her one of her best friends actually had a Taylor Swift themed birthday party, and I had saw this book, and I was like, do you think she would like that? Is that kind of lame? And she was like, I would love it. So. I was like, that's your sign to also get her this book. So I grabbed it for her. It's funny because my mom also bought it for her and I was like, well, return the book. And she's like, well, you return your book. And I was like, no, you return yours. She's like, no, you, re like we literally were arguing about who's gonna return the book. I won, obviously, but also mine was like, buy two books, get one free. So I just feel like I got an awesome deal. Like I felt like, because I also got another book, I feel like essentially this was like free, you know what I mean? Anyways. That's the logic, I, that's girl math. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have seen like that trend going around about girl math, but I guess that's my girl math. And then the last thing that I got from Target is from Good Chemistry. She's really into body sprays and I don't know, you guys are gonna think I'm nuts with the whole like phthalate thing, but that's a different topic for a different day. But anyways, um, if I can get non-toxic, I will. Um, and I really try to be. So um, with perfumes, a lot of that stuff it doesn't have good chemicals so i found this body spray it is called good chemistry and it is phthalate free it's a lot of the freeze and like what i look for um so i wanted to get it for her it is from target it is 11 dollars, a little bit on the pricier side but again it was part of that one or i think it was a different deal but like you spend so much and you got so much money off no you got a gift card with this one so I was like, perfect time to buy this. I really wanted to get the pink bottle, but I didn't like the, there was like two pink ones. I did not like the way that they smelt, but I really like the way that this one smells. It is pink palm and it smells so good. I honestly almost thought about getting myself one because I stopped using perfume eons ago because um, of like the chemicals. But again, like I said, I always buy all the good stuff for my daughter and I forget for myself, but maybe I'll just, I'll tell my hubby like, you know, this that I got Alondra is like amazing. I wish I had one. And then maybe he'll get the hint and give me one for my stocking. So Alondra's stocking came to a total of $51.50. And that does include um, these two items that I don't know, you know, if I'm gonna be able to make it work. When I was testing it, like I said before this video, they didn't fit, so we shall see. And then also too, that doesn't include the lottery ticket. So I still need to get those and then add them in. That is officially everything that I got my kids for their stockings. I know this is probably a long video and me just like rambling to you guys, but I just, I love these videos and I love talking about gifts and Christmas and I just get, I just get really excited. Um, and I also feel like I haven't like sat down and like done one of these types of videos in a hot minute. Um, but anyways, like I said, that is everything that I got my kids for their Christmas stockings. Definitely comment down below and let me know if we're 
twins on anything um, or if you like think of other good stocking stuffer ideas or what you put in your kids stocking stuffers I just I want to know all the things okay I shared you my things so you share your things with me cool but I'm gonna go because I'm rambling so I hope you guys did enjoy and I will see y'all in the next video thank you so so much for watching and happy holidays bye guys mm -hmm.